What's going on guys? It's your man, Ed Hayes, the Wholesale Coach here, back for another video, guys. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Wholesaler's Toolbox. What items, what tools, what hardware do you need when you out here wholesaling? What should you have on you at any given time? Now, this is super important because anything can happen at any given time. You could be riding past a property and, and conversation starts going. You get an opportunity to get inside of one of these properties. You need to have hardware. So I hope that you all are pumped for this content. Go ahead, hit that like button now. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not a part of this team already. And let's go ahead, let's dive into this content. I want it all expensive trip excited calls when I took that love Alright guys, so here are some of the tools that I highly recommend that you all have in place, have ready. Go ahead, go grab them. Matter of fact, I'm going to put links in the description of this video so you could just head over and purchase any of this stuff if you need it, guys, okay? So item number one is going to be an impact driver or a nail puller, okay? So pretty much both of these items are going to be used to get boards like like the, the the wooden boards that they put on vacant properties to make sure that people can't get in those can be a hassle so make sure that you've got an impact driver or a nail puller okay and you want to get one that has a good amount of torque okay so kind of keep that in mind i've got a, i'm gonna have a link in the description or whatever so you can check out one that i've used like i said make sure it's got a good amount of torque and if you don't have um this impact driver or you know you don't feel comfortable with tools or whatever it may be try to have somebody that you know come and be able to do this for you like you want to make sure that, that you've got somebody on deck if you feel like you can't do it yourself if you can't afford the drill yet have someone come out to the property or lastly kind of just have the seller do it okay so just make sure but somebody's gonna have to have tools kind of keep that in mind if there's a, a boarded up door you're gonna need an impact driver or a nail puller next is gonna be a lock box now a lock box is gonna be one of the most commonly used items that you will be using period as a wholesaler so kind of keep that in mind you're gonna want to go grab you at least one preferably get like a two-pack uh, master lock has a uh, like a decent, but it's like the the industry standard type uh, lock boxes. And essentially what a lock box is, is just the, this little box that you could put over your door, over the sellers, uh, the homes, the, over the door, uh, the handle of the door at the property that you are putting the lock box on. You just hang the lock box on the door and then like you put in a little code or whatever and then it opens up and there's the key right there so anybody can get into the property even if the seller is not there. Um, I should probably make a disclaimer. Make sure that you put these on like the back door or the side door or something like that. If you can, try not to put them on the front door because that can let squatters know that the place is vacant. Kind of keep that in mind. Okay, but um, these, you're gonna be putting that lockbox on the property after you put it under contract. So make sure that you've got one in the car. Make sure that the seller knows what your, um, like what the code is as well so they can get in there and get them to agree to put a key in there or you can go get another copy made and leave it inside of the lockbox at the property so you and your investors can have access to it to kind of check repairs and things of that nature, all right? So next, I'm gonna try to keep this nice, short and simple for you guys. So next is gonna be blank yellow bandit signs. Now we all know these very, very well, right? Good old bandit signs. Well, you can get these off of a site like dirtcheapsigns.com or you can kind of just make these yourself. You don't necessarily have to well, yeah, you're gonna have to pay for them, but you don't have to pay to get them made specifically, right? So I feel like if you put in that extra time and just make them yourself, it tends to be a little bit cheaper, first off. But not only that, it's like you can customize it. So you don't have to get a 100 bandit signs with all having the same exact words on them. You can actually do a good amount of testing on your bandit signs if you use different um, different words, different text, different lettering, different colors, and things of that nature. In fact, let me see, I'm gonna show you all right here. A little bandit sign, you see what I'm saying? So you can kind of test these, and plus we got like so many, look, on the back side it's something different, so it's like we got so many different kind of bandit signs, but you can kind of, you can customize it. So 
I prefer to just have like the blank ones uh, versus buying like 50 of them that uh, have like exactly the same thing. You could buy 50 banded signs and customize them yourself. Use like one third of them for buyers, use another third of them for sellers, and use the last third to bring on some house hunters to find you some vacant properties. So kind of think about it like that or you know, use whatever math you want, 20, 20, 10, however you want to do it. Just trying to give you some ideas, guys. So, um, and you want to post those banded signs like near where other people have banded signs as well you know so if, if you see that somebody else has got a banded sign on this tree put yours on that same tree okay uh, anyway so then next um, zip ties um, aka cable ties okay you're gonna need these zip ties if you're gonna be putting up your banded sign so once you put a property under contract you can also use your banded signs to put a for sale sign right there in the lawn so that's another reason for the banded sign as well that I didn't mention um, so also consider getting some stakes like the stakes that you put in the ground I'm gonna have a link for all of this stuff so you don't even have to think that hard it's just gonna be a link in the description of this video okay but with the cable ties or zip ties you want to have long zip ties so I recommend about 48 inch zip ties this is very very important because if you get these little miniature like uh, 20 something inch zip ties they're not gonna be able to wrap around most things that you're gonna want to wrap these banded signs on so take my word for it <laughs> and get the longer ones if you plan on wrapping um, a banded sign around a tree which is a great place to put a banded sign then you're definitely gonna need those 48 inch zip ties if you're not gonna put them up against the tree then I would say like at least 36 inches to 40 inches trust me take my word for it okay the reason why you want to be getting these zip ties is because you know it's much easier than sitting there trying to nail in each individual uh, banded sign plus that makes a lot of noise it causes a lot of attention you kind of want to be low-key with it as much as possible because obviously they call it bandit sign for a reason most of the time it's not legal and most of the time it's like you know people putting bandit signs out it's like free marketing almost let's put it like that a lot of cities and municipalities don't like it okay so you don't want everybody seeing it. you don't want the the federales running up on you while you're putting out bandit signs all right <laughs> keep that in mind all right so and then to like put the zip ties on you pretty much just poking a hole like if this was the example you just poke a hole like right here and like right there maybe and then just pull your zip ties through it's real real easy and you wrap it around stuff trust me it works all right and then lastly for this video um, for the actual hardware stuff it's gonna be jumbo size sharpie markers now you'll need those for your bandit signs you'll need those uh, for flyers and other things anything that you've got these big enormous jumbo markers I don't think I got one within reach right now in fact the uh, well, this is this is somewhat like the one, but actually I recommend ones much bigger than this. This is actually like, this is not even big enough and this is actually a big one. Okay, so kind of keep that in mind. You want like the big jumbo Sharpie marker so you can write in enormous words on your banded sign so people can actually see your marketing from the street. You want to have it as high up as possible as well. You want people to be able to actually see this sign, okay? So five things that you should have on you at any given time as a wholesaler to make sure that you're prepared. This is the hardware, guys. And it's an impact driver or a nail puller, then a lock box, blank yellow banded signs, uh, zip ties, AKA cable ties, if you're gonna search for it on Amazon, and then a jumbo size Sharpie marker. Guys, I've got links to all of that stuff in the description of this video, so you can just click on it, check it out, and grab them for yourself if you're interested in that, okay? And then, you know, I decided like, you know, that's not necessarily like the only things that you need to actually have on you at any given time, so I decided to list another five items that aren't tools per se but you should still have them on you at any given time and we're just gonna flow we're just gonna fly right through these so business cards flyers a couple pens at least all of your contracts that you'll need and your script okay so make sure that you've got all of that stuff on you at all times guys okay i hope that this video helps i hope that it provided some value for you if you like videos like this definitely subscribe to the channel you know just go ahead and subscribe to the channel come on this journey with me guys i plan on topping three 
thousand subscribers before the end of the year so help me hit that goal guys i would really appreciate it also if you need more content like this if you want to learn how to really get your wholesaling business up and running and you ready to start cashing out if you want to learn more and more in depth check out my wholesaler university course guys it's over 75 videos where i'm showing you everything that i know about wholesaler from point a to point z and i'm giving you a ton of other bonuses as well if you sign up soon so i hope that you all like this one i hope you all are having a blessed rest of your day and until next time guys i am mouse